Hey guys, what's happening? Thanks for tuning in, coming back and watching. I appreciate it. Hope you're doing well, staying safe, taking care of yourselves, all those kind of things. And if you're new here, I'm Jim. Great to meet you. Thanks for coming by. I make tutorial videos here every week showing you how I make my photos look certain ways using different software products. I'm in Luminar AI today and it is in beta. So I just wanted to clarify that Luminar AI is still in beta. It's expected out, they say during the holiday season. So I'm expecting hopefully sometime in December. But um, I've got a beta copy and I'm continue, continuing to experiment and play around with some of the different features. And one of the things I noticed that nobody's really talking about is Composition AI. I think they've actually done a really good job and something, there's a, there's a feature about it that I find really interesting and incredibly helpful. So what I wanted to do is I've got a number of images. I'm not gonna edit the images. I just wanna show this feature. And in fact, I'll come back later and do a little bit more of a deep dive on Composition AI. But the feature I'm talking about is the ability to correct verticals in your image. So um, if you shoot like kind of close to something with a wide angle lens, a lot of times it'll look like the building is kind of leaning back, right? For lack of a better word. Um, and I shoot with wide angle lenses quite a bit. I've got a 20 millimeter that I, at Prime that I just absolutely adore. I shoot with that all the time. And in fact, I went out um, on a recent morning, kind of just some different parts of Austin, just kind of shooting around, took a bunch of photos, and these are perfect uh, examples for how you can use Composition AI to correct the verticals. So here's the first photo. Let me show you that, and I'm gonna click on Composition AI. And it's this uh, right here, uh, under perspective, you'll see there's, you know, you can change composition, you can change aspect ratio. Down here, you can vertically and horizontally adjust the photo and change the aspect ratio, rotate and flip, all that stuff. Again, won't go into detail on that in this video. Um, here you can automatically straighten, and here is the one I'm talking about that automatically fixes verticals. So if you look at it, you, you can see the straight lines that the grid has created, and the one on the right-hand side, you can see that the pole um, at this place is not really lined up. So all you do is you click on this button here, and it will fix it for you automatically. And there you go. Now you can see that it has automatically been straightened for me. So let me show you the before and after. There's before, That's you can kind of see how it's kind of leaning back because again, shot with the 20 millimeter lens kind of close. And now it's, it's basically straight. So I think that's a pretty amazing feature. I've got a couple other examples I wanna show you. Let me go get those photos and show off how well this tool works. Okay, here's something on the east side, just a store that was shut down. Once again, Composition AI. And I'm gonna go ahead and click on the perspective correction for the verticals. And once I click that, you gotta give it a minute. And like I said, we're still in beta, so it's taking it a minute. I'm assuming it'll be quicker once the uh, full version is released. But there you go. You can see that it did that in the amount of time that I was talking. And I can just hit enter. And you can see, I mean, look at how different the verticals are. Let me give this a little accent AI just so you can see the photo better. Uh, not a particularly great photo. I just kind of like old abandoned things. So I take photos of them a lot when I'm out. But there it is. Uh, now that I've brightened it with accent AI, there's before and there's after. I mean, those verticals, they look great. I mean, they look absolutely fantastic. So nobody seems to be talking about this tool, but I think it's gonna be pretty amazing. Let me show you a couple more examples. Okay, here's another thing from the east side, and I thought this was an interesting one because there's a lot of verticals in it, and it's, uh, you know, I basically stood out in the street, tried to get this place. Um, anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and click on Composition AI and go ahead and click on the perspective correction. Let's see how well it performs on this photo. And there you go, let me hit enter so you can see that and let me do the before and after. There's the before, there's the after. I think the verticals look amazing. The only challenge is I've now cut off the top of the lamppost and the building and that's because there wasn't enough space for it to correct the verticals. Uh, so this is something to think about if you're shooting with a really wide angle, you might wanna shoot um, further back. So if you're, if you're on a, a, a wide angle zoom, for example, you might wanna go at 14 millimeters instead of 18. This is a 20 millimeter prime, so um, it's cut off a little bit, but for correcting verticals, you might wanna back up a little bit and get more uh, you know, spare space, for lack of a better word, more real estate uh, sky, I guess, in this case. But as far as the vertical corrections go, I mean, that just looks amazing. Let me show you one more, but uh, I mean, I'm really liking that. Actually, you know what, I need to work probably a little bit uh, I think that is straight and maybe that's a little bit off. And here's something you can do is you can actually work on those verticals here by moving the uh, vertical and horizontal. So you can adjust the photo further and refine it using this. That's not really the right way to go. Maybe if I go this way a little bit, that'll help me. 
and yeah, you can see how that kind of tilts back. So it's it kind of becomes, there you go, that might look a little bit better, maybe a little bit less. Yeah, something about like that. Now, to be clear, it's not perfect. You know, this is a close-up shot with a whole lot of angles, so this I think is a really tough one. But regardless, even with the adjustment I made plus the automatic adjustment, I think we've made a big improvement in the photo from there to there, and I think the verticals look really good. I'm gonna show you one more. Okay, and I chose this one because it's both from the side and it's also kind of leaning back. So once again, Composition AI, and I'm gonna click on the vertical perspective fix uh, icon there and let that do its magic. And there we go, let me hit enter just to close the tool. I, I do, well, I'm just blown away to be honest. I think that looks fantastic. So there's the before and the after. Now keep in mind, you could do this kind of stuff in Luminar 4, but it required you getting into the uh, canvas tools and getting into lens, uh, perspective correction, uh, I can't remember what the tool is called. Uh, I think it was called Lens and Geometry. But you had six or eight different sliders and you had to move them all around, whereas now it's basically automatic. Uh, again, we're in beta, so it's not perfect every time. And I don't wanna tell you it's gonna be perfect every single time on every photo. On that last one, I think it did a really good job, but it wasn't perfect. This one, I would say, that's basically about perfect. I, I don't think I could do a better job with that. So there it is before and there it is after. So I just wanted to show you guys um, how powerful this tool is, this component of Composition AI. It's not something that anybody's really been talking about, but I think it's a really massive and cool thing to have, and I think that's part of the power of the AI engine that's driving Luminar AI. So I hope this gives you some idea of what you can do. Thanks for watching, my friends. I'll be back soon with more editing videos, and you guys take care of yourselves. I'll see you later, and adios.